fault. Hey, cheers for standing me up last night. Half an hour I sat there before you texted saying you're stuck in some meeting. I'm really sorry. And I asked Mary to babysit, dragging her out just to send her home again. If I'd have known it was going to run over, I would have cancelled. The client just kept me speaking forever. And you cut things short with Moira too, discussing the barn. Yeah, I've um, had a rethink about that. It's not going to be possible. Mm, she thinks it is. Yeah, the insurance costs are ridiculous. I mean, it's a working farm, so too many hazards. You've done loads of rustic weddings. Can't you just get some other quotes? Oh, you got her all fired up just to let her down. Well, just drop it, will you? We're not using butlers. End of. Uh, what is up with her? Nothing. She's just snapped me head off. She better not be mad at me for pulling her up on last night. Unless it's Moira she's got a problem with. Did something happen after I left? Cos I thought they were getting on fine. All right, well, if you won't tell me, I will ask her. Oh, no, please don't do that. It wasn't that. It... Susie, she saw a picture of Holly at Moira's and it turns out that she, uh, she knew her. She knew Holly? How? Um, she photographed some of the weddings that Susie had organised and when I told her that she, you know, died, she was, well, she was shocked. That's why she left suddenly, cos she was so upset. Well, Moira never mentioned it. Well, I asked Susie not to let on. You know, I, I didn't want to upset Moira. <sighs> well, she could have said that instead of telling me she had some urgent meeting. There was no meeting. Great, so my girlfriend lied and stood me up. <sighs> I hope I'm not disturbing you. I left my knitting here last night. I'm sorry I wasted your time asking you to babysit. A well, waste of time for you, really, Susie cancelling like that. But if it was work, I suppose, couldn't be helped. It wasn't work, apparently. She just used it as an excuse to lie to me. Lie to you? What on earth for? Maybe I'm not as important to her as I thought I was. Oh, it's not the impression I get. <sighs> Mary, I just don't want to be lied to and have my heart broken again. Mm. I had enough of that with Charity and Mac. You have to tell her how you feel. If you value honesty, you have to live by it too. But she knows how I feel. She must do. She cares about you, I am sure she does, but sometimes you have to spell these things out. Nessie, what have you got to lose? I know it's hard putting your heart on the line, but the rewards could be better than you imagined. It must have been an accident. What was it? Whatever you need to, just don't mention the drugs, otherwise I'll have around here a ruined. Hey, I'll... I'll leave you to it. I'm sorry for standing you up. At least I know why now. Layla said you were upset about Holly. You could have just told the truth instead of faking some non-existent meeting. It's what I told Moira, so I thought I should stick to the story. Why? Because I didn't want you to let slip that I knew Holly. I didn't want Moira getting upset by it. She'd be glad you knew each other. You could tell her about your times together, swap memories. One day, maybe, but just keep it to yourself for now, OK? Don't tell anyone. OK, if that's what you want. You, uh, you don't have to keep things from me, though. Makes me feel like you can't trust me. You are reading too much into this. No, honesty is everything in a relationship. Well, it is to me, anyway. I got burned before when Charity lied about being unfaithful. I can't go through that again. <sighs> Susie, I want you to confide in me. If it's something important, good or bad, I will never break your trust. I want us to get to know each other properly. My life is not a bed of roses. <laughs> Mine's not either, but I still want to share it with you. I really like you, Susie. And I know it's early days, but... I want to make it work between us. Oh, you don't even know me, Vanessa. If you're looking for someone to build your life with, then I'm not the right person. I think you are. I thought you were serious about us too. Look, I think you're amazing and I've loved every minute, but I can't go deeper than this. You deserve someone better than me. I'm really sorry.
know she's leaving. Yeah, it's my fault for coming on too strong. No, she likes you too. She's just said so. Now, I don't know what's gone on between you two, but if you wanted to stay, you need to go and speak to her. Susie, wait. Before you go, you need to hear me out. I'm sorry for coming on strong and frightening you off, but the truth is I can't help it. I'm falling for you, Susie, big time. I think you're amazing too. You're smart and funny and <laughs> I fancy the pants off you. I don't want to pin you down. I just want to be with you and if that means taking things slow, then that's fine by me. I'd rather that than lose you. And what happens further down the line? When you find I'm not perfect after all? <sighs> it can't be any worse than my exes. Look, as long as you're honest and you stay faithful, that's pretty much all I ask. I'm not perfect either, but we've made it this far. Even after I ruined your cake and stood you up on our first proper date. Yeah, suppose you are a bit of a nightmare. Takes one to know one. Please don't give up on us. Not yet. Hey, I take it, Susie. Changed her mind? I managed to persuade her. I wasn't giving up without a fight. Well, I'm very happy for you both. Yeah, we are too. You know, you had me at funny and charming, but when you said you fancied the pants off me, you nailed it. Well, I had to invent stuff to convince you, obviously. Oh, well, you won't want me stopping tonight then, will you? Actually, scrap that. I meant every word. <laughs> I'll get some drinks. Layla? Yeah, go on. I'll have a quick one. Three white wines, please. We've got a deal, right? You won't breathe a word about Holly and the drugs. Of course not. I'm not daft. Neither am I. This has been a wake-up call for me. If I want things to work between me and Vanessa, I need to start living a cleaner life. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't mean you can't have fun. We are going out tonight. Yeah, well, Vanessa needs me, so she comes first from now on. And besides, I need to lay off the party. Thanks. Hey. Hey, you.